Greetings. We are here to talk about your ideal daily schedule. We're going to start with a prompt and then we're going to have two things to do and look at. The first prompt is what does your ideal day look like and feel like? Take a moment to pause this video and write or draw or free write, whatever you wish. What does your ideal day look and feel like? Once you have those writings down, you have a good idea of what your preferences are and how things really want to feel for you. You have two assignments from here. One is to observe what is currently on your schedule that is blocking that feeling. Is it something you've chosen because you felt bad saying no? Is it something for your family in which case that stays but maybe there's another way to do it? Whatever the case, please make a note now, again, pausing the video if needed, what on your schedule is currently blocking you from having the experience of that ideal day? Once you've ascertained that, there are a few things that you can look towards. And this should take months, even years, but it should take a great deal of time. What is it that you've designed? Because in looking at your schedule right now, whether you're doing it sort of cursorily or in much detail, you can see what you've designed that is creating for you either the experience of that ideal day in look and feel or something else that's less than ideal. So over the course of your time here in mentorship, I know that I've been working on this for so, so long, you're always going to be working on evolving your schedule so that each day feels like an ideal day. Now, you will not always succeed. Some days will feel much more packed than others. And you have only one person to look toward for that, which is yourself. I have only myself to look toward when my day is too crowded with things. But it's an ongoing process. So I don't want you to be too hard on yourself, but I want you to keep this front and center, back pocket, top of mind, whatever you like to say. You're always going to be evolving your schedule to create your ideal day. For some of us, that may mean scheduling a half an hour around every appointment or phone call. For others of us, that might mean a full hour around every appointment or phone call. So there's always space and time with which to play. Whatever this means for you, we will always be talking about it here in this portal in mentorship. So enjoy the process because it is ongoing and I'm glad for you that you are taking it on.